Hello everyone, today, I'm going to demonstrate one of science lessons. Shall we explore about a microscope and its parts? A microscope is a fundamental tool for scientists. It is used to see objects that are too small to be seen by the naked eye. The tiny objects such as bacteria, viruses, cells, pollen, are magnified and appear in enlarged images that we can see. There are many types of microscopes, and they may be classified in different ways. Let's start with the parts of a compound microscope. The compound microscope has two systems of lens for greater magnification, the ocular lens that we look into, and the objective lens which is closest to the specimen that we want to observe. Do you know how a microscope works to appear a well-qualified image? At first, light must pass through the specimen. The objective lens receives that light and then brings it to a focus inside the microscope tube, so, we can observe the magnified image of the specimen. The ocular lens, also known as eyepiece lens, is closest to our eyes when we look through the microscope. These lenses magnify the images at 10x or 15x power. The body too connects the eyepiece lens to the objective lens. The objective lens has three or four objective lenses with different magnifications such as 4x, 10x, 40x, and 100x from the low power lens to the high power lens. The shortest lens is the lowest power, the longest one is the lens with the greatest power. What does onion cell look like under the microscope? These pictures show the onion cell observed under microscope at different magnification. If we want to calculate the total magnification of the microscope, the power of the ocular lens must be multiplied by the objective lens. So, when 4x objective lens is coupled with a 10x ocular lens, we get a total magnification of 40x, 4x times 10x. Revolving nose piece is the part that holds the objective lens and can be rotated to easily change objectives power lenses. The stage is the flat platform where we place our slides. Stage clips hold the slides on the stage. The stage controller controls the stage to move left and right or front and back. In the center of the stage, there is a hole called an aperture through which light passes to illuminate the specimen. The illuminator provides a steady light source that is used instead of a mirror. In an optical microscope, a mirror is used to reflect light from an external light source up through the bottom of the stage. Don't forget to turn on or turn off the light switch before and after using the microscope. Diaphragm or iris is a rotating disc under the stage and adjusts the amount of light illuminating the specimen on the slide. Therefore, we can see the image with good contrast after passing enough light to the specimen on the slide. The arm supports the body tube and connects it to the base. It also serves as a convenient carrying handle. The base is at the bottom of the microscope and serves as stable support. Adjustment knobs are above the base of the microscope. The coarse adjustment knob is a rapid control that allows for quick focusing by moving the objective lens or stage up and down. It is used for initial focusing and only with the low power objective. The fine adjustment knob is a slow but precise control. It is used to get a better focus on the image when viewing at the higher magnifications. So, we already knew the functions of each microscope parts. How can we use a microscope for observation? Next lesson will explain how to use, care and maintain a microscope. Keep watching our next lesson video.